Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about an issue I had uh, recently over this last project I was working on. So I had condensation either on my camera sensor or on my glass plate in front of the camera sensor. Now I've had this camera for over two years and I've had it in very hot weather, very cold weather, sub-zero temperatures with no issues and it was working great. And all of a sudden I was started getting this condensation uh, on some hot and humid nights that we've had recently. And uh, I had never had had it before and I didn't know what it looked like and it was very bizarre looking. So before I go into what I did to fix it, let me go show you what it looks like on the computer. I'm Kurt Zapatello and you're watching Ask Request One. Okay, well, let me show you one of my sub exposures, what it looks like from this icing visit or the condensation. And as you can see, the center is uh, pre whacked out. And I lost a whole night of imaging because of this. And it looks kind of weird. Let's see if I can scroll into this. And you can see even the stars are all whacked out. So these were unusable. So this is pretty much what it looks like this condensation. And here's what some other images look like, condensation. This one looks really similar to mine, as does this one. So anyways, let's go take a look at what I did and uh, how I fixed it. Okay, this it happened in the middle of the night when I was imaging, so I didn't want to really screw around with anything in the middle of the night, especially as I haven't done any, anything like this before. And because I was in the middle of uh, imaging a project, I wanted to keep the orientation the same. I don't want to change it. So what I did was I put a piece of tape, I don't know if you guys can see it right here in the in the filter wheel, and I put a line right where this little, um, uh, I think it's a sensor of some sort on the camera. So when I unscrew it and I screw it back on again when I was, when I presumably fixed it, it'll still be in the same orientation. So you want to do that the first thing. All right, let me just take this thing off. screws. I'll set it down carefully. Okay, and now we'll go take a look at the camera. Okay, here's the camera uh, taken apart. Now, this, where the black thing is, it holds a glass plate in front of the sensor. The, the sensor is down here at the bottom, is all the way down in here, about 6.5 millimeters in, and there's a glass plate that sits on the top of it for protection. So, what are you going to need when you do this? You should have a nice little, one of these squeegee things to keep it nice and clean and blow any dust out. And you're going to need an Allen wrench. Now this is for the newer models of the ASI 1600. If you have an older model of an ASI 1600, you don't have these Allen wrench screws. You, this thing, the whole thing just screws in and you just screw it in and out. So I'm not actually going to take it apart because it's fixed now, and as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But uh, if and when it does happen again, I feel very confident I can do it. I actually ordered a new set of desk and tablets, and here they are sitting at the bottom. Okay, uh, so they're 20 bucks, but um, I think it's worth it. So if it, like I said, if it happens again, I have no problem taking it apart again. But uh, I just simply recharged it, and that seemed to have uh, fixed it. What else are you going to need when you recharge? As I said, you need the Allen wrench. You should have a, a big set of tweezers or maybe some needle nose pliers to um, hold these and pull them out. Although you can hold them with your hand. I read the directions, and uh, ZWO didn't say anything wrong, didn't say anything about touching them with your hands. Uh, basically, so you just take this thing off, set it down, and take these two to take these four tablets out and recharge them. And I'll show you what I did uh, on the computer in a second. Oh, one other thing. Remember how I put the piece of tape on the filter wheel and put a line so it matches up with this little sensor here? What I didn't do, however, was you should put a mark on the top of this plate and on the bottom casing that it goes that it's screwed into, so you have this matched up. Because when I did it originally, I had it off. I, I put it back together again, but I didn't think of that. And so 
this top part wasn't matched up with this, and so when I put it back together again or onto the uh, filter wheel, it was off by 90 degrees. So I had to unscrew it again quickly and put it back again. Um, but uh, anyway. Okay, so I will show you what I did. And this came from ZWO's uh, manual on cleaning and recharging your desk. You kind of, so I'll put, put a link on this at the, at the bottom. And so basically, if you have dust on your sensor, it looks like this. And dust on the window, the protective window, looks sort of like this. So that's to give you an idea of what it looks like. And if you have your camera apart already and you suspect there's dust, you might as well clean it. And here's the stuff you recommend for cleaning it. Basic cotton balls, ethanol, and your little air blow thing. And here's the camera. They go with a the old style camera here. But I had a new style, the one where you have the Allen wrenches. You got to take take the Allen, take the top off of the Allen wrench. And this is what it looked like. This is exactly what my camera looked like when the top was off. Here's where the desk tablets go. And as I said, you just take them right out. You can take them out with your hands. Uh, ZWO didn't. There wasn't anything in there saying you couldn't touch it with your hands. I chose to do it with a a needle nose. Be careful, however, because they are somewhat brittle and I actually did end up taking a little chip off one of one of them when I did it and I still used it though it wasn't such that I couldn't put it back in again but just be aware of that I didn't need to clean my sensor or anything it was it was really clean I did blow it off any just in case but I didn't really clean it with the ethanol or anything like that and again I just uh, put it back and you know, like I said, they're just going over cleaning it here. And, oh, yeah, here they, they, they actually show a person touching it with their hands. You, you take them out. You put them in the microwave. I put it on a little dish, and you put it on the microwave for two minutes at 50% power. When you get done, when, I, when the microwave goes off, you just place them right back in these little holders and put the top back on, and you're all set. Good to go. Well, I think that's all. Oh, by the way, there is a, if you want to see this done, uh, a video of this being done, there's a real quick video by Gaucho de Andrade, and I'll post a link to that on here as well. It, it, it just had him taking the top off, putting the desk and tablets in the microwave, and then taking the desk and tablets and putting them back into the camera sensor again. So, but it, you, it, sometimes people just want to see it being done. And uh, that's it. Like I said, my uh, camera has been working fine ever since. And hopefully it won't happen again. Will. Okay, one other thing. My Part of my new protocol for imaging is I'm going to, before I even cool the camera up, before I turn everything on, I'm just going to make sure my entire telescope, including the area around the camera, is free of any condensation using my blow dryer or a fan here. And I know all you guys out west are probably laughing your butt off at me right now for, for people a bit here back east having to deal with all this moisture, but whatever. Anyways, clear skies, and we'll see you later.